Okay, now before, before we continue, I realized I also forgot to show you how um, the like little marker outline here, but it's not very much, just remember to do that eventually. I don't know, that's how I color. I sometimes usually forget, even right before I scan, I realize, oops, got the marker. Anyways, let's move on. Now I'm going to work on his pants first, actually. I'm a little tired of blue for a bit, so let's go a different color. I'm going to use a very, pretty, very, very light brown, almost even a little bit like yellow into it or something. It's kind of a grayish or whatever. I used it earlier for the for the skin. And it has a kind of almost, almost tan to it. A gray, uh, not gray, a brown tan. So, work on that base. And then work on the little extra shade, or the darker. But since his pants are so small, it won't take very long. Okay, then we get to a very, oh, oh actually like just a light brown. And we work on that. Just get that area and shade it off a bit. And then one more darker brown. This brown has a little bit of red in it, actually, I think. But I, I like that, at least for this one. Because it still gives that kind of tan feel for the end product. And last, this is probably one of the hard parts for browns, at least for my markers. I always check to see. Uh, that might be a little too dark, but I can always possibly use uh might have to yeah sometimes the problem with markers is you can't find the right color oh, that wasn't that wasn't too bad and then just do a light very lightly go around the edges where the, the darkest shade is you've got that and I'm just gonna move directly to this part I had that one base color. Now, for this, since it's so small, I don't really need to add much shading. Alright, now we're going to start working on the eyes, which is going to be a little harder because usually I at least have the eyes a little bit, the hair is kind of in the way, it's going to be a little bit harder, but it's the same concept. So again, I'm going to do a base color, and what I'm going to do is try and give like a little area where there'd be a little white, and on this, the right side, I don't think I would have to worry too much about that. Now. I'm going to take a darker blue and then kind of make that kind of pupil. So just make it darker. And then get it even, even darker blue again. And then make it even darker. I think on this eye you won't really need it too much. And then, the last thing I do is I take a really dark blue marker, and then I make that pupil. Mm -hmm. 
do the same on this side. And there we go. We have the eyes. Okay. So now we have both the eyes done. And what I did was I did add a little bit of red for his mouth. But it was not too much changes in me. So last, we just need to add a background. So what I'm going to do is, since we have red and blue, it's got a little red and blue background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them... Okay, since my um, camera keeps on stopping randomly because I'm almost out of batteries, I'll just show the finished product now. I might afterwards add a little more like marker to make the blue because I have a blue background here with then the little red shadows to get a combination of both. I might add some like markers to it. But pretty much this is the end and the finished product. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful at all. Okay, bye.